Our machine's already packed up, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. But this is a four by four. Um, I wouldn't even call it that. This is a professional machine. Uh, this machine is capable of running speeds that some of the you know eighty thousand dollar machines are running. You know, so you can only go so fast through three quarter inch plywood. Once you go too fast, you get cut degradation. You start breaking bits. There's all kinds of things that happen. Um, so you can't go faster than any than a certain limit before you start just really screwing up your cuts. This machine is capable of running five six hundred inches a minute, full depth of cut on a three quarter inch piece of plywood with a roughing bit the same as an $80,000 machine is gonna do. This machine does that. So it's definitely what I would call a professional machine. The accuracy on this from front to back is less than 0 .003. You're not gonna find that on, you know, that's the same as an $80,000 machine. You're just not gonna find that anywhere else other than Phantom at these price points. You can't, it's just not there. Huh. You know, running one of these machines for the last two and a half, three years, we've been really, really impressed. And uh, that's why when we we, um, we saw Steve was coming out with the 4x4 ATC, we knew this was our next machine. Steve, is that, that 75 that you're running off the of VFD? Sir? Yes. Oh, yeah. How's that running? Pretty cool. Yeah. I like that they switched to black bake light. First thing you're gonna do with this thing when you get it back, besides un unpack it, hook it up, and um, I am prototyping a, a very fancy type of stop block system for a, a kind of a collaboration between a, a fellow content creator, Lincoln Street Woodworks. I think the first serious thing I'm gonna do with it is that is finish prototyping out the, the stop block system. I mean, when you get one of these machines, the first thing you'd have to do is play. So I'm gonna play. 
and got a whole bunch of HDPE and acrylic and wood just sitting there waiting for some fun little play. Like everybody does things differently with their bits. I'm very peculiar about my bit setup. I have all, I have everything that you know that we need. So this is um, typically on a machine like this. This is a 12 horsepower motor. We're going to run almost all quarter inch and three eighth shaft bits. Uh, we'll run. We'll keep in on our machine. We'll keep two drill bits, so a quarter inch and a three sixteenths, or a one eighth inch and a three sixteenths. Then we'll keep a quarter inch a plastic cutting bit, a quarter inch compression bit, and then we'll have uh, four uh, three eighth bits on there that'll range from uh, compression, cutting, roughing, and finishing bits. That'll be on the machine. They'll stay on the machine typically throughout the day. And if we need a special bit or a surfacing bit or something like that, we put that on afterward. You know during the process, because it's not something that's typically used all the time. A typical project for you is not going to require more than a couple, right? So, so uh, The more you get into CNC work, the more that you get comfortable with uh, the you know, bit changes and the tool profiling, the more bits you use. A typical file for me is four to six bits. In most cases, on, especially on a four by four, one run is going to go pretty quickly, so you'd be stopping and changing bits consistently. Five by ten, it's a little different. You know, you can go for a lot. You have a lot more surface area to cover, so the change bit isn't as you don't have to change bits as often. But having an ATC four by four, especially, just makes life a whole lot easier. And especially one that is as reliable as the Phantom machines, because uh, they can just you can set the file and pretty much walk away. You know, it's a second employee really. So you, you set your file, you walk away. When it's done, you come over, you, you delam what we call taking the sheet or the material off the machine. You delam it, and you put another machine, another machine on, and go. So. You've got a lot of knowledge on you know, the current state of CNC. Where, where do you see Phantom? I see Phantom is still a young and up and coming company that is going to, as they have been for the past three years, keep just really putting the putting the pressure on the market. They're bringing in these amazing machines at amazing price points. They're the working man's machine. This is Phantom from the from the start. When I first started talking to Steve and Phantom three years ago, they have always just been a, a company that's really trying to push innovation, not just on the machines themselves, but in their process. So they're saving themselves. They really keep an eyeball on the money and the process and the people in the middle. So they're able to make really good machines and sell them. Basically, the prices are better than anybody else's on the market because they're not only innovating machines, but they're innovating the process as well. Would you say it's like probably a third or is it uh, half? See, the problem with this is trying to compare this 4x4, like this machine right here, right. to something else on the market. You can't because there's nothing else on the market like it. There are other 4x4s. Um, I think there's two companies that make a 4x4 with a six place tool changer, smaller servo, smaller motor, uh, and the price is. Uh, one of them is 36.4 and the other one is 42,000. This is 19.5. So it's almost half it's the half, price. Yeah, it's half the price. Yeah. So, and that's, you know, and then th th that's before they start selling you options like hold down beds and, you know, all the other things that come along. On the other side, not with the Phantom. Phantom, no, you no, get what Phantom, you get. No, Phantom is all included. It's one price. Yeah. You get everything. You get the tool changer, you get the hold down, you get your startup, your starting collets. You get the oil pumps, you get it all. Well, in fact, the only thing you need to buy for a unit like this, aside from the unit, is whatever you want to use for your, your vacuum pump. That's it. I was talking to Mike, and um, it occurred to me that there's a word probably that would define this level of CNC machine, and that would be prosumer. It's a professional machine you can do, as you say, a million dollars on this machine. Yeah. But it's also, you know, inexpensive enough that almost anybody could get into it. Well, prosumer has some connotations with it that means like it's a consumer model, but it's a professional consumer model. Um, I wouldn't even call it that. This is a professional machine. Uh, this machine is capable of running speeds that some of the you know $80,000 machines are running. You know, So you can only go so fast through three quarter inch plywood. Once you go too fast, you get cut degradation, you start breaking bits. There's all kinds of things that happen. Um, so you can't go faster than a, than a certain limit before you start just really screwing up your cuts. This machine is capable of running five, 600 inches a minute, full depth of cut on a three quarter inch piece of plywood with a roughing bit. The same as an $80,000 machine is gonna do. This machine does that. So it's definitely what I would call a professional machine. The accuracy on this from front to back is less than 0 .003. You're not gonna find that on, you know, that's the same as an $80,000 machine. You're just not going to find that 
anywhere else other than Phantom at these price points. You can't. It's just not there. Hmm. Cool. Well, I'm glad you're educated on this. I wouldn't call myself that. Steve's educated on this. I glean from his knowledge. Yeah. You know, running one of these machines for the last two and a half, three years, we've been really, really impressed. And uh, that's why when we we, um, we saw Steve was coming out with the 4x4 ATC, we knew this was our next machine. We are so excited to see what you do with it. Well, we're excited to get get it home and start playing with it. The other one? Yeah, that's yeah. that on it. And it's... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Right. That's right there. Oh.